Hey everyone, it's time for our monthly deep dive. This month, we'll take a look at the new Gemini integration into Firebase Data Connect. If you're not familiar, Data Connect, which is currently in public preview, is a relational database service for mobile and web apps that lets you build and scale using a fully managed database powered by a GCP Cloud SQL instance. Data Connect provides a schema, query, and mutation service through GraphQL, a technology that allows you to declare the type of schema you want your database to have and the type of queries and mutations you want to make ahead of time. What does GraphQL give you with these ahead of time queries that we write? Well, for starters, it allows for strongly typed SDKs to be generated for you automatically so you can start developing right away using methods and function calls that mirror your schema code. With that, the queries that are generated are strongly typed, so it helps prevent accidental mixing numerical values with string values, which I've done many times myself. GraphQL is helping to make app development easier in the long run, as we can declare exactly what our database expects for the queries, mutations, and storage of data. If you are like me, who is new to GraphQL, it might be a bit intimidating to craft your first query for your app. This is where Gemini can help. Just let Gemini know what you like to do for your query. Gemini helps craft the query for you, and it's a great way to learn GraphQL with Gemini. It can get pretty complicated to design the perfect query to retrieve that information or figure out how to get started. It'd be nice if we could reach out directly to the Data Connect team and ask for some guidance when developing our queries and mutations. The Data Connect team felt the same way. That is why the Data Connect team worked on the perfect prompt to Gemini to help deliver an experience for users like me that might be entirely new to GraphQL. Let's take a look. For this demo, I'm going to be using the database that is part of the agent-powered travel planning app found on the Google for Developers Solutions page. There's a link to the solution in the description below. I head into my Firebase console and visit the Data Connect tab. On that tab, I select my Data Connect service that I'm currently running. In that window, I can see that I have a list of activities and a list of places. Each have quite a few columns about them, but one thing the activity table doesn't have is a continent field. That is provided through a relational value that comes from the place field. Let me see if I can get a query that shows all the activities in North America. When I switch to the data tab, I can click on this glowing pencil icon in the query editor. I then write my query in plain text. I wanna find all activities that are available in North America and specifically the description and name of the activity. After a few seconds to generate the query, we get a query that we can then insert into the query editor. After running the generated query, we can see results that show all activities that match our query. But what if we wanted something more complicated? We can see that we have embeddings available in my table from when I generated the schemas originally. Will Gemini help us with getting results from these plain user inputs? Let's give it a shot. I now try a query that states that I want to find all activities in a place that has an embedding that is similar to the user provided text. Limit the places to the top three closest. We can see that the generated query includes a special function for doing an embedding similarity search, including the ability to call our embedding model. It's currently getting cold where I am located. So in my mind for a vacation, I wanna search for activities in places with white sand beaches and endless summer. As you can see, we get what appears to be similar locations with activities we could do there. There you have it. We are able to have Gemini and the Firebase console help us write our queries for Data Connect. Stay tuned to the Firebase YouTube channel and our blog for all the latest that is coming to Firebase Data Connect. I'm Noe and I cannot wait to see what you build next.